Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This week I've been practicing the lost art of communicating by mental telepathy. It can work if you want it. You just have to put your mind to it. What? Imagine what the world would be like if everyone mastered this technique. We wouldn't have laryngitis. I've heard voices in my head on certain occasions. At the time, I was trying to understand what it meant. I just wasn't fully open to it yet. Then one day, I decided I wanted to try and have a mental telepathy conversation with a rock. Hello? Hello? Are you receiving me? The rock must have been in a mood not to mind chat. I moved next to try it with some other inanimate objects. My first subject was my snow cone man. Mr. Snow cone man, do you read me? Show me a sign. Do you remember when I was little? We used to make snow cones together. Yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? The first try was so successful, I decided to try it on Buddha. Master of light, I am forever in your servitude. What can I do for you? I'll have one of those snow cones. My second attempt was equally successful, and I decided to try it on Mr. Fields. Mr. Fields? Would you care for a snow cone? Ah, yes, my good man. Perhaps with a splash of sarsaparilla. This went well enough. I couldn't help but just want to try it one more time with Elvis. How about you, Elvis? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Meow. Thanks for watching this episode. I realized after I experimented with these inanimate objects that I was really excited to move on to the next challenge, and that would be communicating with other humans. So next time I plan on having some of my friends over and starting a mind reading club similar to a book club and seeing what the results would be with that. Anyways, have a good week. This is Ken Spiracy, signing off. Humphrey, would you like some pork chops and applesauce? Question everything. <laughs>